family, it's your girl Serenity Rose, and we're back with another video. And as you guys can tell by the title, we are going to be doing a project pan for the year of 2021. So this is going to be my 21 in 21 project pan. So my goal is to finish at least 21 products in the year of 2021. That is my little princess. As you can hear, she is cooing. She's at that stage. Oh, she starts cooing cute little noises. So if you want to see all the products that I'm including my project pan for the 21 in 2021, <laughs> then just keep on watching. Okay, so I have a little bag here of all the products that I want to pan. And I do plan on getting like a little basket for them because I don't like the way this looks. It's super messy. So this is just makeup items. I do plan on doing different project pans for like skincare and hair care maybe maybe hair care so yeah i'm not gonna go in any particular order we're just gonna grab from the bag and go so the first product that i have is from mac this is the prep and prime fix plus setting spray this is in the rose scent i'm not sure if you can tell that it has like a hint of pink to it so you know that it's definitely the rose one so i will be marking it on the back to see where i'm at currently so that you guys can see an update of how much progress i do and i do plan on doing at least quarterly updates so every three months i will be updating you guys and if i finish one product i do plan on introducing a new product into my project pen so that i can at least hit the 21 products in 2021 mark so i want to do an, at least 100 percent project pen my project pen for 2020 was an emergency project pen and i started it three months prior like the last three months of the year so i did pretty good though i got at least 60 percent of my products done i think or <laughs> or a little bit more than 60 percent of my products um so next is a lippy from l'oreal this is their pro matte liquid lipstick this is from like the chocolate collection and this is in the shade 70 percent yum 856 and oh my god this smells like double fudge chocolate cake like straight up chocolate and i ain't mad at it like every time i put this on my lips i literally just want to lick it off my lips and just digest it because that's how good it smells i love love like triple fudge chocolate chip cake and that is what this gives me but i've only used this a handful of times so i'm probably gonna take a full three to six months to finish this up next is a foundation this is the ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer i have mine's any shade medium 12 w this is just a hair lighter than me so what i plan on using this for is mixing it in with my darker foundations for example my, my mac foundation is too like orange dark bronzy like for my skin tone and my Haley's beauty foundation and I think I have one more that's a little bit off, but if I mix this uh, foundation, uh, if I mix this foundation in with those, the shade match is pretty on point. Um, and also any matte foundations, mixing this in with that gives it like a satin type of finish. So yeah, I'm probably, <clears throat> I'm going to try to squeeze as much as I can to the bottom and then I'll mark it. Next is a setting powder. This is from Pretty Vulgar. This is the Powder Room Matte About It translucent setting powder and i love the packaging on this is super like antique vibes and i do have quite a bit of this left i have to um figure out how to make this work because this is one of those powders that leave a white cast when i use it so maybe i can't bake with it maybe as soon as i place it down i have to brush it away or i can oh yeah she agrees she completely agrees with me <laughs> So, um, or when I use a damp beauty sponge, I can actually press it into the skin instead of letting it sit on top and bake. I hope you guys don't mind hearing her in the background, but. So next is a pressed powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Press Powder in the shade 320 Natural Tan. I do have another one in the shade 322, and that one is my perfect like match. This one is just a little bit light, but I do want to finish it, and I actually just hit pan on it today. So... How exciting. This is a bronzer from Makeup Revolution. This is their Bronzer Reloaded bronzer in the shade Long Weekend. 
and this is one of those like dome type of bronzers like it kind of has like that baked formula so it's probably gonna be like really hard for you guys to see any progress that I make but um I'm working on it <laughs> then for blush I have the Laura Geller baked blush and brighten blush in the shade tropic hues just like the bronzer it is that baked type of formula you know it has like that dome type of look and i love the like print in it it's like marbled and this is a really pretty blush it does give you a nice little sheen um i can probably add some now because i feel like my blush is non-existent so pick some up on my brush and And also, it's not one of those blushes that's overly pigmented. You can build it up really, really nicely. Ooh, I feel like this goes with my eyeshadow. So yeah, I feel like going through this is going to be really easy because it does have that type of buildable formula. So for highlighter, I have an OG. This is my Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter in the shade 100 Molten Gold. And I used and abused this so much that the packaging broke, but I have hit pan on this. I believe this was in my project pan like two, three years ago, but I think I can actually finish it up. So I have high hopes for it. So the next product is actually a face palette. There's one shade in this face palette that I do want to hit pan on. And this is the Morphe Lo-Fi AL Highlight Contour Palette. So the shade that I want to hit pan on is this shade right here. It's called Donut. It is a really pretty bronzer contour shade for me. Um, again, I could probably add some of this too. Now that I added a crap ton of blush, I'm just going to take my brush, dip into it, and... It's not too dark and it's not too light. Like, it's really perfect. Especially if I focus it up here, where my cheekbones are, it does give a nice shadow. So, this is definitely a product that if I finish that shade, I can pick another shade in this palette to go through. And, yeah, I do want to work on this palette because I've had it for a while and I do love it, but... Face palettes are one of those things that I completely forget to that I completely forget to reach for. So hopefully I can do some damage to this product. Next I have a primer. So this is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And this is the Universal Sheer One, which is the original formula. And that is how much I have left. So I think... No, I know I could finish this before the 6 month mark if I stay uh, focused on just using this. Um like when I'm not doing videos. I don't like to use these same products when I'm filming because it gets repetitive, so off camera I use these products on an everyday basis. So I do have another primer. This one is from Maybelline. This is their Master Prime Primer. This is the Blur and Pour Minimizing Primer in 400. I love the feeling of this primer. It is one of those silicone based primers, but I think I have about like this much left, so I'm pretty sure if I just focus on this one and the e.l.f. one on my off-camera days, I can definitely finish both of them. So for moisturizer, I have the Pond's Nourishing Moisturizer. This says that it's for dry skin to very dry skin, but I have oily skin and this works just fine for me. So all that I have left from this product is that little bunch right in that corner. And I think I could finish this within a month or two. Um, you don't really need a lot of this, although I do love packing on my moisturizer. I feel like prepping and priming the skin is the key to a good, like, makeup routine. Like, your foundation is the most important part of your makeup application. So, doing the right moisturizer and priming the right amount is key. So, yeah, I know I could definitely finish this. Next is the eyeshadow primer. Um, I have the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas Full Coverage Eyeshadow Base. Um, I believe this is the second shade that they have. I don't, I can't find this online on Ulta, but I did purchase this in store. And this is so good. It's definitely on the more liquidy side, but, <laughs> but.
but the coverage on this product is amazing it blends out really nicely and the shadow blends out like a dream over it so if you haven't tried this i highly recommend i know they have like a super light shade this shade and then a dark shade and maybe one more shade but i like this product a lot next is a concealer this is the elf hydrating camel concealer this has a satin finish i have mine in the shade medium beige i had the original camel concealer before this and that formula is bomb it is definitely comparable to the tarte shape tape concealer um but this is just like that one but hydrating and it leaves your under eyes looking really nice the coverage on this is really really good highly highly recommend best drugstore concealer in my opinion along with the l'oreal infallible full wear concealer those two concealers are it next i have a lippy balm this is from ColourPop and the flavor scent shade by the bushel um i do have the lip scrub that goes along with this i probably should have incorporated that um i'm almost done with this i can definitely tell that i'm like right around here so i will be marking it of course but um once i'm finished with this product i'll probably incorporate the ColourPop lippy scrub um into the 21 and 21 project pen so yeah this one is good i did like it at first but this does remind me of like that vaseline type of consistency it is much more on the thicker side as far as moisturizing my lips i prefer something like a lip oil um it just leaves my lips super nourished and moisturized throughout my makeup application so if i apply something matte it's not gonna suck the life out of my lips so this is not my favorite type of balm lippy formula. So for the eyes, I have a pencil eyeliner. This is the Rimmel Scandalized Liner in Black. This is like four bucks from Walmart and this is a bomb. I would compare this to the Urban Decay Perversion 24-7 Glide On Liner. That's like over 20 bucks and this is like four. So you get like five of these for the price of one Urban Decay Perversion pencil liner. These are so creamy, so pigmented. <laughs> Hi! So if you're looking for a good dupe to that eyeliner, I highly recommend this one and it's super affordable. Next I have my Essence Splash Princess Mascara. I've had this for a while. I think I probably could use this up in a month. This is one of my favorite mascaras. This gives you such crazy length and volume and it's not clumpy and it doesn't flake. Highly, highly, highly recommend this one. So the last four products are lip products. So I have a lip liner from Wet n Wild. Uh, this is the Color Icon Lip Liner in the shade Plumberry. It is obviously a plum type of shade. And this is how much I have left. So I think I could definitely use this up. Um, especially now that when I, lip, when I line my lips, I actually color inside the lines as well. Um, just in case my lip color fades this will still be on my lips then i have two lipsticks i have the morphe mega matte lipstick in the shade boy toy um, i did have the other shade on my last project pen but this is a pretty nude and i i think i could work through this so i'm confident next i have the milani uh lipstick in the shade teddy bear this is such a pretty color especially for fall this is kind of like the color i have on my lips now so yeah i definitely want to work through this while it's fall time i can still use this in summer and spring and lighten it with like a lighter shade in the center like the morphe lipstick um so yeah i think i can finish at least one of these lipsticks last but not least is a lip gloss this is the ColourPop so juicy plumping gloss in in princess cut and it's just a clear lip gloss it does plump it does give you that tinkling effect on your lips and i always add a gloss you know there's once in a blue moon where i stay all matte but i have been glossing it up god bless you i have been glossing it up lately so i know i, will, I know for sure that i can get through this so yeah that brings this video to an end i hope you guys enjoyed watching my 21 and 2021 project pen introduction um if you did drop a thumbs up comment down below what you guys thought and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button we are on the road to 1k hopefully by the time this video go gets posted we are there already um so yeah 
Um, on that note, I hope you guys are staying safe, staying blessed, having an amazing day or night wherever you are, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Can you play that again?